Yeah. It's the Comcast morning show. Let's like shut Drew up for a second here. There's Drew Forrester right there. We're facing him. To my left over there, head coach of Towson football, Mr. Gordy Combs. The star tight end, senior Reno West. Mr. Media Man, Dan O'Connell. We'll go in there in a second. We have to be very quiet, though. We try to do a morning show. Hence the word try. So let me get up here. Right up, right up, right up, right up. It's the lovely WNSTC is. I'm sensing it a lot because we have a lot of emails. Took phone calls yesterday with Mike Herman on the air. I'm just sensing a, a, an energy I haven't sensed before about Towson football 2007. I think it has a lot to do with what we accomplished last year, uh, being 7-4 and four and having beaten Villanova and Delaware two years in a row each. I think the fact that we were ranked a lot last year, you know, four or five times we were ranked, and then coming into the season, we were preseason ranked 17th. And you know, the good thing is uh, we weren't the last pick in the Southern Division of the, uh, of the conference of the CAA. So uh, I think we made strides, so I think it's exciting. I think the fact that, you know, we have a very good football team, and I think the fact that, you know, Sean Schaefer led the country in passing last year has alluded to that. Reno, I, I, and I know schools just started, obviously, but I know you guys were helping the kids in with their uh, um, furniture and their books and all that last week. Have you sensed that as well? You've been here now. This will be your last year as a senior. But have you sensed some kind of new energy a little bit about the football program? Yes, I definitely have. Um, it's just, it, it seems that we have a lot of seniors, a lot of uh, vets coming back, and, and we, we know what's going on. We, we know how to handle things. We're not really nervous or anything like that. Uh, we have Sean Schaefer, who is the king of all passing, and we have a great defense, um, great defensive line coming back, some great DBs. We have a great running game. We have a you know great passing game. Tommy Bro, De'Ron Arnold, Paul Perry. I mean, they're like Demetrius Harrison. They're great like players, and so it, we we feel that you know it's it's our time. It's our time to step in. It's our time to do things. And the campus seems though they they want to give us you know support, and this is what we've been trying to find and trying to trying to get that support from everyone. And, and it seems that like we have it this year. Now, the moving in of all the stuff for the kids, do the seniors get the girls? Is that how it works? And the, the sophomores get the guys, and the, the guys like uh, Reno here, they get to pick and choose. I'll take her. I'll move her stuff in for her. How's that work, Coach? Well, it's kind of like that. Because it should work like that. It does. There, there's a pecking order. <laughs> and the seniors get to pick the dorm, or I usually you know, uh, assign the dorm, and they went to Glen Complex, <laughs> right. you know, where all the new freshmen are coming in. Oh, oh, is that what it goes? Oh, the yeah, freshmen, so okay. So then, the, you know, the, the underclassmen, they get Scarborough and Pretty Men and Warden West, and then usually the juniors, they, they kind of stayed at the Glen, and then the sophomores got the residence tower, so that's how we divide it. But that is a neat thing you guys do, and I know a lot of schools do that, obviously. It's not something just isolate the Towson, but... Okay. So for those of you who do not know, WNST is now the new home. Towson University football, excuse me. This is where we have head coach Gordy Combs, star tight end, Reno West in studio here on the Comcast Morning Show. There's Drew. He's sitting there. He's doing his thing. He's our Towson media guy. He's the guy I talk to. Mr. Dan O'Connell. Look at the WSD studios. My bobbleheads. It's a QC company in the morning at 5.50. There's no Drew's no company. Just look in the production room. Let's turn these guys up. Maybe we can hear from this side. You know, we have to win our conference or be very good and be somewhere in the area of 9 and 2 or 8 and 3. So. You don't want to stumble, especially in your non-conference games, because they look at that very hard, the selection committee does, when you're in contesting for a, a large bid. So we just have to take care of one game at a time. I know it's a cliche, but I think you just take it one at a time. And, you know, in football, we don't have an opportunity to play a midweek game like, uh, you know, you can in other sports. And, you know, every game is important from uh, the first game to the 11th game. Gordy Combs with us here on the uh, Comcast Morning Show, Reno West, a tight end who was a defensive end. I'm going to let you talk about that in a few minutes, and uh, Reno will get your thoughts as well. This never said holding this camera would be, <laughs> be so hard on the arms. I guess i got to get back in the gym. I think they're going to take a break, and I'm going to go in there and talk to them. Yeah, let's get in there and say hello. Let's go see what happens during a commercial break here at Dennis Day. Sure, we'll have to break. Bleep some of this stuff out. The Orioles are the 
embarrassing. Well, then they have 30 to 30 to 30 to last week. That was embarrassing. The worst thing is it's all their relief pitches. I mean, they were winning six to three going to the eighth inning last night. But that's been consistent all year. Mm. Well, they've just they've imploded. Yeah. I mean, they could be winning nine nothing tonight in the ninth inning and still lose. And it wouldn't surprise me. Like they've totally, totally imploded. I'm not really much in baseball and know much, but I just, it's just being from Baltimore, I just hate that, you know, just like, oh, 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 we, we have so many Yankee and Philly guys on our team, it's a pain. Oh, yes. yeah, it's a big time. You know, not only that, we have it with our Redskins. coaches, <laughs> now the, uh, the Nationals, and we always find out. Yeah. seem like national fans, but I'm not, I've seen a couple of national fans, you know, just because they're from D.C. area or whatever. Fitz would have been a national fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we have Redskins and Ravens oh. fights all the time. And Eagles. Yes, this is three. This is three. And Eagles. You're right. No <laughs> Giants? Not really yeah, the Giants. Not that much Giant guys. So. They haven't been winning. Yeah, it's, it, it, I think it's a lot of the Philly guys because of that South Jersey, Philadelphia. You know, mm -hmm. the Collins is the Clarks. Yeah, something. the Collins and the Clarks. <laughs> Love the dag on uh, Eagles. Eagles. And, and then, then like the idea like of... Drew, you got to say hi to the folks at NSTV. Well, hi, folks. Guy. WNSTV. Uh, we're here with Gordy and Reno and Dan O'Connell. And uh, get ready for tomorrow. I'm emailing the wine list right now. Don't wait to find one.